Hey everybody, it's Tasha the Snow Wolf, and welcome back to more Pokemon Coliseum. And and in the last episode, we I showed you guys the rest of my battle with Justy, which turned out to be a total failure. And in this episode, we start up on the second floor of this building, trying to trying to save the Silva. Silva. Yeah, that's his name, Silva. And for starters, we start battling this bandit guy, Geats, who has a Larvitar and a Bar Forge for his first two Pokemon in battle. Now, you may have noticed Umbreon leveled up off screen this morning, and Bactal is nearly halfway through, is nearly uh, almost gone on his. On his heart gauge. That means we will be able to switch out with another with another shadow Pokemon and be able to level it up. Get it through its heart gauge, I meant uh. And guess what came in last night? My my game came in last night and turns out it was actually called Gale of Darkness. I don't know why none of you guys that they actually corrected me on it. I kept saying it wrong for nearly two episodes. I hate saying it wrong. I was I was shocked to find out that it was actually called Gale of Darkness then then Glade of Darkness. And you guys actually corrected me on that. Which I'm surprised. You none of you guys actually corrected me. But anyway, this is going to be going a little bit easy. Oh, this is a first. Barbarch is actually paralyzed for once. And you can't really paralyze him the regular way. It won't work. But anyway, now Noctow knows how to use his fly attack, which is the only usable move in battle right now. That actually does damage. See, look how high he is. It's awesome. Oh, he's it. Oh, he's confused. Look how much that did. Even though he was a ground type, that did the rest of his health. His health. Carvana is not that hard of a Pokemon to beat, really. It's actually pretty easy once you get through. See, I already got paralyzed. Amazing, right? I like Noctowl going first because it helps with his, with his heart gauge a lot. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry about that. My foot actually accidentally hit the cam camera table or the table that my camera was on and accidentally hit it. Uh, I want to go wilder. That's a funny name. Same thing to go for. He's pretty easy. Let me check my Pokemon's health. Not too bad. I think I could use an item on and Noctowl. There, that's enough. Oh, and if you also noticed, I ran learned Confuse Ray off screen as well. So now he's at level 30. He learned a new move, and that's awesome. Now we go battle this guy, Geary. He has Remoraid and Magnemite. This ain't the Remoraid you want to get. Like I said before, the first girl you battle on the final floor of this place is the one who you need to get the Remoraid from. Like I said last time, her Remoraid is level 20. So just use a Great Ball on it. Don't be afraid of getting... Don't... Don't be afraid of catching it early. 
of snagging it early. That's what I do all the time. I always snag it early. Even before I make my first move on it, on anything. I always snag it first. Either that or use Noctowl and or have Laffy paralyze it. Make make um, Noctowl and by the time you get to this point, Noctowl should already know hypnosis. So have it use hypnosis on it or have Laffy paralyze it. But make sure it's its status is is something. By this point, you won't be able to burn it really, or or your sleep powder on it really, maybe. This ain't really my style, but I'm trying to help you guys learn how to do it. Get you guys. No. Uh, uh, thunder shocks. Oh no! He just n did not just do that. He did not just do that. Oh, you jerk! Ow! Ow! Oh, and if you also see, I added Skip Bloom to my team off screen. Ow! Stupid tangle. Now I have Flaffy. And see, she's in hyper mode. That, that happened last time she was out on the field. So I'm going to call her out. That way she will get out of it. He will get out of it. Damn it, I keep forgetting that Flaffy's a boy. I like Flaffy being a girl because I can say she whenever I want. And it's pretty easy for me to say she a bunch of times with Flaffy. Because it looks like a female. I mean, look at that pink color. Those guys don't... Most male Pokemon don't use pink. <laughs> nah, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing on that joke. Uh, that was a bad joke anyway. Anyway, yesterday I got a Nintendo Power magazine in. It was a special magazine. But what was funny was that... Um, Besides getting a Sonic Generations poster in it, as well as a Luigi Luigi's Mansion 2 poster, I got this funny looking Pikmin 2 poster. It was like really funny. They were they were defeating they were trying to battle like crab, crab like um enemy I can't remember the name but it's like really funny because they make the they made the Pikmin look all stuffed like <laughs> it was funny looking I swear <laughs> it was so funny <laughs> I might get the camera I might uh, show you guys what it looks like um, after this after this video is over I probably go run to my room and grab the poster and show you guys what it looked like. It was like really funny. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing at it. <laughs> they make the care they make the little Pikmin all stuff like. <laughs> it was really hilarious. Especially the white Pikmin, their eyes were like bulbous. <laughs> it was like Really funny. No offense to you guys out there who love Pikmin 2. It was like really, really funny. I swear I gotta show you guys that. And I'm glad I didn't put it up on my wall or anything. I, I was going to, but then I decided to might as well show it on, on YouTube and show you guys it. Because it was like really, really funny. I was like, oh my god. It was like funny. Oh, oh gosh, it was like really hilarious watching it. I couldn't stop laughing for like 15 minutes after looking at it. Because it was like really, really funny. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> oh, I loved it. It was, it was hard to not laugh at it because it looked really, really funny. 
Uh, but I did a little rearranging in my room and I took down some posters just to replace them with a few more new posters that I got. So I got like five posters. There's like one poster on the back, one poster on the front. I got a few of them and I'm gonna put mostly the Mario, the Luigi, the Sonic, and even the Pikmin one on on my on my bedroom walls. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. Oh god. I have a sick sick sense of humor sometimes. They even made the the ugh, crawdad looking thing. Even stuff like they even made Olimar. And I think Louie was on it or the or the president, I don't remember. <laughs> but it was like really funny looking. I can't remember it, it's in my room. But I'm gonna, I wanna show it to you guys sometimes. Oh, and see that's what I meant. You get, you get some more of these stuff over here. But you gotta get way over here. I think I better go rest. Yeah, I better go back. I don't have no revives, I think. I gotta, it's a good thing you have a little restore place right down here. You can switch out your Pokemon if needed and save your game. But I like that. That's really helpful. Anyway, back to the thing. Oh my gosh. Oh. I was surprised that thing came in at all. Because they it was supposed to come in around, around 3 or 4 which is when the mail actually came. But I didn't know that, because I thought it was coming in early. Oh, why'd I do that? Summary. Yeah, it only has, it's going to only need to be in one more battle before Ugh, why'd I do that again? Damn it. I hate doing that. Flaffy is nearly open. <laughs> Let me show you guys the rest. Uh, it's opening water, it's starting to open, uh, that one's shut tightly. Like I care. Skiploom's not that helpful. See, I put um, a bay leaf back in the storage uh, as well as Makuita like I showed you guys before. Of course I did bay leaf off screen and put it back into storage off screen so you guys didn't have to see me do that really. But what I really want to get to over here is this guy is really strange. He has electric type Pokemon, so it's really bad to have um, my my Noctile out front right now. But I only need him for like a second, so his heart gauge will finally be empty. See, there, his heart gauge is empty. Her heart gauge is empty finally. Ugh, why do I keep saying her when? Why do I keep saying him when it's a her? God, I'm so good at that. I've been so good at that lately. It's so annoying. <sighs> oh. oh my God, school starts next. School starts this week, oh my God. I am so not gonna be ready when that starts. Because then I will hardly be able to do any of these videos for you guys. That means I will only be able to do some videos on rare occasions during the week. Cause during the week, it's very hard. But during on the weekend, I have like plenty of time to catch up on my videos. I mean, yesterday I did like... <laughs> I did five, six, part one of six of seven and then part two of seven I did that many videos and I'm still 
gonna be doing a ton more. I can't believe that first part of of seven was so long. It was 26 minutes. My God, I didn't even. Oh my God, there's that limitation again. <laughs> I love that <laughs> stupid, <laughs> stupid limitation. <laughs> It's like really hilarious sometimes. It's strange, but it's hilarious because the the limitation it it doesn't give you much. But it's funny sometimes just to watch it. There he goes. Oh no! No, Brian got got paralyzed. That's great. I better run back downstairs and drop off. Um, uh, not Umbreon, but uh, uh, Noctowl. Because I don't want, <laughs> uh, I don't want Noctowl in my team if its heart gauge is already open. There. I might as well heal up while I'm at it. Yes, thank you. See, most of the, you can tell which Pokemon balls are which. The red ones are great balls. The black, the blue ones are the, uh, the, the red ones are the Pokeballs. The blue ones are the great balls. And the ones, the ones with the black marks, with the black are the, uh, Ultra Balls. Which we will be getting Ultra Balls pretty soon. But not yet. Okay, I'm going on summary. Let's see. Well, he's almost to level 31. I think I'll switch him out with Espeon for now. Cause, oh wait, I, I should leave Umbreon in for at least a little bit longer because I really want, cause I really want Espeon and Umbreon at the same level, but I still don't want, Umbreon to be behind because it used to be Espeon was behind in the level situation. She used it, she, one time she was actually at level 27 and Umbreon was like at level 32. So I really don't want that situation to happen again. So I, that's why I'm compromising by switching them out every, every level they rise. And if one's like at level at some points behind the the one who's about to level up, I had to switch to that one instead. You have to defeat all these guys up here. They will not let you pass anyway. So it's going to be hard, really. Well, I'm, I'm not afraid. This, te this team is why you really need to have Flaffy. Because these are all flying types, which is really annoying, especially if you have a grass type. But I don't mind it, because Flappy can learn, can use um, Thunder Shock while it's in its shadow form. Like I said before, do not try and teach any of the Pokemon any of those three new TMs you got. Like Thief, Torment, and Toxic. Do not try and teach him yet. Wait until after Mount Battle and then do it. Because depending on the number of Pokemon you restore, you can you can have a variety of which Pokemon to teach it to. Because it's actually pretty important that you do it like that. See, there goes Umbreon, level 31. Uh-oh, confused. See how good that was? Ooh, it paralyzed it. I would have Umbreon attack Ladybug and have Flappy use Thundershock and Swablu. Umbreon could attack. Like I showed you before, it's not very easy calling a Pokemon who's in 
who was confused. Like I showed you guys several times before with Espeon. She wouldn't listen. He or she wouldn't listen. You know what I think is kind of strange? Is having a male plusle with it with it having those red marks on it. I think it's kind of strange having it like that. That's why I always prefer a mining being a boy and a puzzle being a girl. Cause it's just strange. I I think the coloring should be like Latias and Latios. Cause Latias is a girl and Latios is, is a boy, and they ha both had the same blue blue and red patterns on them. So I think that's why it should be like puzzle being a girl and mining being a boy. It just doesn't sound good if it's the other way around. Of course, either way you do it, Latias and Latias will always be their normal genders. Latias will always stay a girl and Latias will always stay a boy. I don't even know why I'm talking about them. They aren't going to appear in this game anyway. They, you'll hardly see any legendary Pokemon in this game besides Raikou and Tay and Suicune. Which you'll have to snag anyway. But here's a special thing that you gotta do once, once after you get through some of this game as an extra. I suggest you do the hundred, the hundred person, the hundred person mount battle, the mount battle competition because if you're able to beat all 100 people you will get and let me see if it's true it says it here in my game yes here it is it's like it's not, oh that's not what it's telling me back back it tells me in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Here it is. It says there is one final Pokemon available for you to catch. But it's not a shadow Pokemon. If you manage to catch and purify every single shadow Pokemon throughout the entire game, and you defeated Mount Battle in Battle Mode, completing Mount Battle in RPG Mode rewards you with Poho. Yeah, you do that and purify every single Pokemon you have, you obtain and snag. You will receive that. Yeah, you have to really do that, and you gotta be really smart to get through this the special Coliseum challenge. You're gonna have a really pro big problem once you get to um. Oh, where is it? These are story mode extras, but you really gotta do them because it's really important. Because you get to go back to Sne Team Snagum Hideout and the Story Mode Extras. I recommend that you do that because it only, the only way you'll be able to get through all of it, you'll be able to beat your imposter, the shady guy. He's really important for you to beat because he has a shadow tug -a tick It's really important for you to get that one too. So I suggest you do that as well. Oh, I need some gum. Oh, finally finds that battle. I need to go back to the page I was on. I 
There's nothing over here really for you to look at. Well. But here's a revive for you. And here's a person you have to beat. Um, yeah, this is the third floor. This is Toti. She has a horsey, an oddish, and a sand troop. But take out her horsey first. That will help you get rid of her oddish using slugma. And or cool lava if you still have it in your team. Oh, or use have Brianna type Oddish and have Flappy use Thunder Shock on Horsey to, just to get out of the game. Oh man. I'm gonna end this off right here, okay? So, be right back.